Howdy everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Getaway. I'm the Black Shadow, and last time we uh, arrived in Frith Street, um, in the uh, the rem remnants of uh, uh, Mark's visit, of course, torching the place. We arrive here as Frank Carter and find the pleat that the entire street's just turned into a war zone between the uh, Collins gang and the cops. And just as soon as we finally seem to get things under control here, we find out that a war is breaking out between the Yardies and the Triads in Chinatown. Oh, goodness me. War has broken out in a hurry. We need to get over there in a quick hurry. Luckily, Chinatown's actually not all that far from um, where we are, actually. It's literally just a short drive away. Oi, goodness sakes. I don't know what Carter said there, but basically I think he's complaining about the fact the entire the entire town seems to have gone into a civil war. Jubilee's not a great thing. Ah, out of the way! Police business! I know you're a cop as well. What are you doing going away? Shouldn't you be trying to help me? What do you think I am? A one-man army? Ah, never mind. Like, here we are, just completely drove right past it, folks. Oh, this looks bad. Hey, this, is this already looks pretty bad. He's got a freaking meat cleaver! I don't know, but to be honest, I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this! It's the place is the oh my goodness! This place, this place is a legitimate war zone. You can just listen. You can just hear gunfire everywhere. This is not a fun place to be. Molotovs, really? Oh goodness. Actually, you know, I'm gonna drop the shotgun. To be honest, the shotgun is not a huge amount of use here. I'm gonna be really honest with you, folks. It is it is nothing but basically long range this entire place. So shotguns not a lot of good to you. Dual pistols far more useful here. Goodness gracious me, face is a mess. Now, as you are coming down here, folks. You can just, you're meant to carry on down the street, which you need to do, however, you can actually, for the only time in the entire game, you can actually enter the Sioux Fung, which you don't have to do, folks, it's completely optional, however, there is a quote-unquote reward if you do. Be careful, though, again, this place is full of yardies. That's flying squad truck. That was pretty cruel. I haven't actually got one of those in real life. I, I kind of wish I did sometimes, but hey. But you can come here, folks. There are a few guys um, dotted around with shotguns, but if you do so, you can come down here. Now, at the bottom of the steps, you got an assault rifle sitting down here. Fully loaded, ready to be used. I ain't complaining. And assault rifles here certainly have their use, because at least they've got the range. Might not always have the accuracy, mind you, but uh, hey, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Well, we can see who won this fight. It's called the Triads. So, obviously, I can only assume that this entire war here, the Ardies must have thought that um, when we, uh, the cops went down to uh, the depot. Uh, they must have thought that the Triads had sold them out, basically, which is obviously not the case. We know that isn't the case, but uh, I suppose they didn't have anything else to believe. We, we, if you didn't hear what he said, he said we've got them shut up. Uh, we've got them, uh, basically, they're all it's stuck in here. Hold on a second. Is my, is my sound still okay? Uh, is that right? Don't know. It's about what I left it at, so it must be right. Let's get into the multi-story. Now this place is almost like an urban jungle in itself. 
can already hear the gunfire. There's cars on fire, there's dead bodies. And I think all this effectively caused by one man, Charlie Jolson. Insane. Can I not get in the cover behind that? Well, I guess not. Ah! Spray and pray. It has its place. Not often, but it does have its place. Son of a bitch, you threw a Molotov at me! That's not fair! I don't want to get Molotovs to use! Goodness me, there are so many gang members in this place, it is just a nightmare scenario. Ah. Problem is, is, trying to close in is not an easy job sometimes. We have got these little divots in around sometimes you can suddenly make up. Hey, where are you running to? Where do you think you're going, Sonny Jim? You gonna surrender? Our police don't huh? Move. What it's you gonna do? It's hopeless. Precisely. Give up. Dumbass. Oh crap, am I down to one pistol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. That's alright. That's better. Kicking off down there. You don't need to tell me, Frank. There's gang members everywhere. No, what are you putting that cover for? A bit better. Oh, dear, this is a great situation. Take him out, and we'll go from there. You've got to be really careful here. Actually, no, I'm going to pull back. No, you know, we don't have to rush this. We don't have to. Really, it, you will find it's really easy to get caught out down here. Really, really easy. Ah! Just trying to get a little closer. All I'm trying. Ow! Goodness me, a yardy car just flew in out of nowhere! <laughs> Goodness gracious, where'd that come from? Whoa, what's he doing there? Didn't ask for that. It's a proper urban jungle down here, it really is, folks. Bloody hell. We ain't going down that way. I'm going to use the stairway here, by the looks of it. Ow! Jerks! And you can actually head a lot further down this entire stairway, folks, just so you know. But uh, if memory serves you correctly, not only does it not lead anywhere yet, not only does it not lead anywhere, there isn't even anything down here. Maybe it's in all these places they thought, well, we might put a little secret weapon down there. Maybe not, and they just thought, meh, that's not it. Oh, goodness me. Didn't think there was uh, three of them. Oh, goodness. Help! Help! He just got shot in the face! See, there's a guy next to me just got shot in the head! <laughs> oh my goodness! We were that close to death! Oh man, that was close. Those guys came in at the nick of time. They just saved my life. That poor bastard, wow. Yeah, take him in! Scumbag. driving going on down here. Oh my goodness. Not many of them down here are there. This is going to get bad. You the wrong 
You know, uh, SO19, if you'd like to come down here a bit further, I would appreciate it. Get into cover! Get into cover! Please, thank you. Oh, this is bad. China, it's hopeless. Luckily, those guys are. Com I'm out of ammo! I'm out of ammo! Like, legitimately, completely out of ammo! Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, right. Well, this has just got interesting. I um, wasn't expecting that. Right, okay then. Um, huh. Look, look. Nothing. I'm gonna take a hit here. Oh no, maybe not. Oh goodness me. Still empty. We need to get all some pistols here. Hey, that's a bit better. Grab hold of that. Just gotta keep heading further down, folks. Further and further and further. Where are they? There was more. You're damn right there was. I don't know about you. I don't quite like this. Too quiet. World answers on a postcard are not necessary this time. Oh my goodness. There are two cars. Let me just run off two. Too bad. Hey, what are you doing? Sit down. Come back when you learn how to actually drive, dumbass. Bye. Ooh, that didn't sound too good. Ow! I just got stuck there on a. Oh, just hit him in the face, Frank. Just hit him. Just kill him already. Oh, I hit one. Bonus. Uh. I think he's about to run out of ammo, actually. Yeah. I'm out of rounds. Ah, uh, keep shooting, keep shooting, go backwards, though. Oh no, he might. Oh no, I ain't playing around. Not like that. No chance. Oh, he's oh, really it's so. He it, really. Do, it's it's almost like a battle of attrition down here. It really is. There's so many guys. You gotta make your way through. I mean. It, it, if you rush, you die. Simple as that. You've just got to be really, really progressive, but just don't rush around. Ow! Ah, uh, there we are. Thank goodness for that. This one is over. Thank the Lord. Guys, I try and stay in shape, you know. <laughs> uh oh, this is gonna get bad. What the Jesus fucking Christ do you call this? There's enough fucking claret spilt here to paint the whole fucking town red. You think this you are Jill Valentine? Team Sunny. What's your problem, Mac? If the RE3 I've just managed reference. to pull off more collars in half an hour than Operation Bloody Trident has in two years. Who do you think you are, Rambo? This is London, not fucking Hollywood. You endangered the lives of hundreds of innocent bystanders. I've had enough of your slap happy cowboy approach to this job. You put too many lives at risk, including my own. 
When was the last time you put your life on the line for this job, you fucking desk jockeys? <laughs> How many lives did I save it today? When the villains round here start carrying water pistols instead of lethal fucking weapons, then maybe I'll start clipping around the ear. Until then, just let me do my fucking job. All right. Carter, make sure you're at Crazy Jake's transfer. I don't want any more of your fuck-ups, do you hear? I'm undercover. I don't do escorts. You'll do whatever I fucking tell you, do you hear? Now get out of here! What a joke. McCall, Mac. I know it is you Muppet. <laughs> I rang, remember? Charlie. Well done. Now we know how everyone is, I like to talk business. I want my nephew back on the street. Is it sorted? Of course, you know the arrangements. Good. Yeah. I know he's a little highly strung, but he's got a good heart and he means well. He's a fucking psycho, Charlie. A mad dog that needs fucking putting down. <laughs> yeah, he has his moments. But his family, what can I do? Anyway. Just make sure it goes smoothly. Don't disappoint me, McCormack. Yeah, that's how deep this web spins, folks. Not only had um, Charlie got Mark to help in actually busting Jake out, he'd even got help from McCormack to help on his side of things. And he also sends Carter it, it sort of involved. Well, you'll see why he got Carter involved. Carter, don't bunch up. Keep your distance and your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're about to hate this one. Scumbag! Now, we do not go off the van. We've got to nail the jeep that just nailed that cop car, folks, before it gets away. This is hard. You have not got very long in order to take this car down. And it is pretty damn nippy. Oh, get out of the way! You do not have long at all to bring this car down. You've got to disable it. Not easy, folks, by any stretch of the imagination. Pull over! And the police, you will do as I say, or you will die. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Ah, freaking lamppost or traffic light posty thing zebra crossing whatever you want to call it out of the way out of the I've got sirens on you morons are you deaf as well as blind look at the police car just driving by casually why not help me oh steering not too well here not particularly helping my poor steering going along. Oh, goodness me. We're going to need to share some details after this. Ah, I say it's not easy to get this car at all. Only so, you know, it really is awkward, folks. It really is. Oh, no. I don't know how we're still going. Somehow we're still going in a straight line but we've completely lost it <laughs> that was an abortion <laughs> oh goodness me this is going to take more than one attempt folks like I said this is not easy on the best of days this is really tricky folks oh boy Why is this game not just saying mission fail? I mean, come on, we can't see it. Where the heck is it anyway? Don't tell me I can still see it. Ah! Uh... Oh, come on, game, put me out of my misery, please. Well, f I d I d does anyone even know where it's gone? Because I certainly don't. Got no idea. MIA, this one is over. But yeah, th I, that should hopefully give you a fair idea of how hard this is. It really is. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm not driving particularly well today, but even so. Oh, if, if, if the, some of the bits beforehand are really hard, this bit's just frustrating. 
Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, take two. Carter, don't bunch up. Keep your distance and your eyes open. Chauffeur in shape. Wasted time. Got work to do. Yeah, well, thing is, there's more going on than you realise, Frank. You think he's playing that? That looked good. Yeah, one thing you'll find about this whole area, folks, it kind of seems a bit strange at first. The closer you are to um, the van you're chasing, the easier this chase tends to be. And it's kind of weird feeling that, but the reason why is because you'll find that some of the traffic is kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, it's, it's scripted. There are some cars that are in certain places at certain times doing certain things. It, oh, did that happen? Oh, that's so ridiculous. I got in front of it. But yeah, certain certain vehicles will be in certain places, folks. So if you're close enough to the van, you can avoid them. The moment you start really dragging behind, all the traffic starts really getting in your way, folks. It's kind of weird logic, but it is true. And that's really annoying. When, the, when they jump into your way, slow down your vehicle. Ha! Yes! Oh, that was good. Scumbag smoking already. Good thing as well, because we didn't really get much contact on him to start with. Come on, give it up, son. You're only delaying the inevitable. Oh, crash into that building. And I'll tell you what, you ain't got too long left here. We're probably about two-thirds of the way already through the distance we've got to take this guy down. Big hit in the side. Yes, fit we got him. Got him. Have some of those apples, son. Burn in hell. Now that we've taken that guy down, now we need to go and help the police van. In a hurry. Come on, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Yeah, we're going! <laughs> oh, oh! Now I hit the van! Oh. Come on, Vectra, don't die on me now, please. I will I will pay you not to die on me now, please. I will, I will, I will give you a personal car wash. I promise. And oh my goodness! See some of the devastation that's been left over. Oh, that didn't sound good. Yes, I know. Out the way. Goodness sakes. Oh, where's a right turn when you need it? No! No! Disaster! Police. Give me the car now! And this is gonna really, really bugger up the next scene that we're about to see in this game, folks, but never mind. Oh, see, one crash, folks. One crash and your car is a goner. It's like on a life support. Ridiculous. But that's how that's how strict this game is sometimes. Oh no, we're running out of time. Surely not. Oh, thank goodness for that. I'd have been mighty angry if we ran out of time there. So we're going to make it down this street. Carter's um, magically going to be back in the Vectra. Magically. And of course we know what's going on. Jake's broken out. He's shooting the hell out of us. Complete disaster. You better believe it. See you next video.